Wow, I love that video. Yeah, great start. Thank you. Uh, my name is Amigal, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Screen Technologies. And we are we created the, the fastest database in the world. And uh, I'm very honored to have the uh, opportunity from the NVIDIA guys to show it in the Silic Silicon Valley. So we are in a business of making a data center in a box. Uh, the problem we focus on is getting a seven million dollar hardware uh, into a box that costs twenty thousand dollars and do the same performance on a large amount of data. So we can put 100 terabytes on a single commodity to your server and the thing that allows us that is the GPUs of uh, NVIDIA. Everybody knows that the big data market is booming so I don't want to get too much into the numbers except the amount of data are growing and growing. Companies are struggling every day with storage issues, with uh, capacity of analyzing the data and making sense of the data. Just to make sure everybody understands, we compete with the giants of, of software and databases. We are competing with IBM and cooperating with IBM. We are a straight competitor of Oracle, SAP, HANA, HP Vertica, EMC Greenplum, and uh, mainly we see in the market Teradata. And it's all about large servers, a lot of uh, uh, money consuming from customers, and energy. So, we're using the NVIDIA GPUs uh, to fight these giants. So, these servers are taller than me, and I bet it's taller than the tallest guys in the room. They cost millions of dollars. And this tiny machine that you see on your left, this is the machine we use to, come to, to beat these players. These are the best players in the world, they have the best teams in the, in the world, and they are not easy to fight with, but our mission is to dominate, the market is dominated by Exodata, on your left, Oracle, uh, 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 Netiza on the left, Exadata on the middle, and Teradata on the right. To make that and to build a company that can do that, you need to specialize on DNA of people. It's not only about the professors and the guys who know really good how to work the technology, it's about having the guts uh, to compete with these guys, even though you are very small. We are only 28 people. 24 of us, the KPIs are only technology and products. So we have to get the best guys and, uh, and, and be bold about it and compete and win. Today we are focusing on go-to-market and product scale. And uh, in, a, in a moment I'll, tell, I'll talk about some of the use cases we are working on today. But it's not only about the DNA of us, it's also the DNA of our partners, uh, companies like uh, uh, Orange that we'll mention later on, that are bold and understand that it's not enough to buy IBM to survive as a CIO. Everything is disrupted today, so we have to uh, innovate and try new technologies. So everybody know how, how good are NVIDIA GPU cards and we can't wait to the technologies that are coming in 2015 and 2016 and will help us beat more our competitors. One use case that I mentioned here uh, is a use case we did at the telco. They have billions of subscribers, they have multi-billions of records and they need to do simple stuff as understanding that they actually collected the money they need to collect from the customer. It is called revenue assurance. We had tremendous success in this case, in other cases. We are giving our customers X20 to X400 cost performance better than what they have today. It's amazing, with this little machine. These are different graphs from different use cases, 
each one of them, we actually uh, uh, were much, much faster and much uh, more cost effective than their competition. And it's linear, it goes all the way to 300 billion records and so on. And these, the players I mentioned earlier, these are the competitors, IBM, Oracle, Teradata. And the reason uh, we can do that is because using the thousands of cores on the GPU, we can compress the data much faster and much better, decompress much faster and much better, and actually bring the customer uh, uh, a data center in a box. The other thing that is important to understand that big data is a big project. You need 20 to 30 people per server to actually model the data and maintain the data and make sure things are running. These are our partners and IBM is a good partner, it's not only a competitor, and of course NVIDIA. Some of use cases we're working on today are around groundbreaking solutions in aviation, transportation, genome. Uh, we are doing cyber security, we work with telcos, uh, e-commerce stuff. We enable them to do stuff they can't do today, just because we took a big data center and put it in a little small box. So we've got some real enterprise big data experts on this panel, so maybe you guys can lead the way for us here. So just a second, I invite you all, someone that they want to see what we did, we had a session with the guys from Orange about getting big data done in telco, with you know the innovation part of Orange, and it's in three o'clock, so uh, tell your friends to go, because you will be busy here, right? Okay, very exciting, I gotta jump in here. Um, clearly, um, as you mentioned, I mean, um, this is one of IBM's sweet spots, and we have this cooperative uh, relationship with all partners in this ecosystem. So I'm going to ask you a different question. You mentioned all these big players. I hear you exactly, the, you know, the Teradata, Netiza, all of them. What about Redshift? It struck me that you're playing exactly where Amazon Redshift uh, is, is claiming it plays, right? Yeah, well, so recently we see uh, quite a few customers, mainly from the mobile and consumer uh, arena, that would like to get this service as a service and not as a uh, license at the data center. Uh, we see that the, the Redshift is uh, starting to have a lot of customers and we are thinking, uh, part of the thinking is together with the guys of the software at IBM to maybe offer the same service as, uh, as on the cloud Redshift as a service. To and to compete directly with Redshift, we are talking on the same thing with the guys of Dell. And uh, may the best man win. So, so just to make sure, you see yourself as a Redshift um, alternate. Uh, can you position yourself with Redshift, with respect to Redshift? Currently no. Currently we are selling directly to customers via partners for their data centers and licensing model. But we certainly see the shift in the market into even in large enterprises, to get it as a service. And uh, we are focusing on building partnership with companies get, that can deliver such a service because we cannot compete with Redshift. They are losing money all the time on that. It's millions of, of dollars every day about giving services and uh, we would like IBM to invest that. <coughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just to be clear, this is for analytical workloads? Yeah, this is all up database. Okay. It's not operational, it's mainly focused on analytics. And how do you deal with sort of updates to the data set and what is the data ingestion? Currently we are, we can digest two terabytes in one hour in this server. And currently we're using append. Uh, so you can append as much as data as you like. Just for example, in cyber solutions, we, should, we, we need to, uh, to digest more than two terabytes per hour on this machine. But we currently do not update the records, we are pending. What do you do with extremely large data sets that don't fit into GPU memory? Isn't that, isn't that a problem for this? Of course it is. Yeah. And we're uh, looking forward for the technologies coming from NVIDIA that we can have direct access to SSD and, uh, and larger GRAM on the Teslas, it was tremendous what you did with the K40. It actually brought us much further in the market. So we're talking with you guys, with the guys at SanDisk, and uh, how to uh, stage this kind of problem. And imagine NVLink that we just announced. Yeah. is very interesting to you. Exactly. This is very interesting for us, and we look forward to it. 
Currently, what we sell is one terabyte in a single, with a single GPU. And believe it or not, companies like uh, Citibank and companies uh, like large telcos, that's enough for most of what they do today. But if you look about scalability, we will need to have some more, uh, some more uh, hardware in that. But we have enough work with the current customers. And is, is the secret sauce, is it about speed, or is it about cost, or is it about both? If, it seems to me, if this is just about cost reduction, that's nice, but you're playing against some pretty big players who yeah. figure out how to deal with you. Yeah. There's got to be all, it's got, it's got to be both, doesn't it? Yeah, so first of all, we compete with the best. Uh, we just, uh, a couple of months ago, we got a punch in the stomach from uh, one of the guys we saw earlier that uh, won against us in a pilot, and it took us uh, some time to recover. This is a question of building a company in the DNA, and we fought back, and now we won the same use case. So uh, it's not only about the cost, it's also about the performance. We strive to be at least five times faster and, uh, and you know, 20 times cheaper than our competitor. And when, it, when you have a ratio of 100, it's amazing. And the customer, you know, we're not IBM. We're just a small startup from Ramat Gan, Israel. But they still uh, give us the chance. That's the largest companies in the world are working with us. So you, you kind of alluded to some things that I'd, I'd like to get a better example of. You mentioned that you bid against one of the big folks, got punched in the stomach, you came back, you knocked them out of the account. Yeah. Whether it's that example or another, could you walk me through a case where, with as much specificity as you can as to how you entered a competitive environment like that, who you beat and why you beat them? So first of all, we need an innovative customer. Customer will understand that it's not, uh, it goes back if it stands on the same spot. Uh, so we've been lucky to have quite a few of those uh, uh, first customers. And the second thing is that once we get to a certain situation, a certain uh, challenge a customer has, when we offer such a solution, it's actually worth the chance to check it out because it takes us one or two days to show him. How I'm actually looking for some specifics though, the, the, if you can't name the customer by name, maybe, okay. the, maybe the industry I'll give you an example or... that it may be connected to recent events, okay? So let's talk about, I can't mention names, but let's talk about, uh, talk about airplanes. Airplanes have a, lot, have a lot of sensors inside, plenty of them, and day to day cannot put a teradata in the airplane, it's impossible, but they can put a small box. Okay, and if they have real-time analytics in the airplane, uh, some security measures and other uh, technical measures are being measured in real time. And this is something that is being spoken to us in one of the largest aviation companies in, in the world. They didn't even consider something like that because the only solution that was available to them was too heavy and too expensive. Think about putting a small box in 7,000 uh, airplanes. So this is uh, one example. Another example is uh, uh, there's a large bank in the States that need to put 50 terabytes, a day. he moves 50 terabytes a day. It's not a big problem. It's only 50 terabytes. It's not petabyte. It's not a yottabyte. And they bought everything that exists. They bought teradata, exadata. It's an IBM shop, so they have a lot of IBM engineers there, and it still takes them at least 13 hours to do one transfer, one transfer. They lose money on the risk management, and in the law, so, so we will be able, we're working on that. It's not happening today, it will happen uh, in a few months. But uh, we will enable them to do it six times a day. For them, it's a game changer. Just two examples. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. I, I have a feeling there's a lot more questions. I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of what you're doing. I've already gone on record in saying that. So I'm really interested to learn more. And, and really, I hope to watch you be extremely successful. I, I have a feeling you guys are going to be. So Ami, thanks Thank a you. lot. And uh, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you later at the uh, at the uh, eight o'clock uh, reception, it should be should be very fun. Thank Thanks. you.
check us out. We're going to dominate this market in a couple of years. Just check us out. Yes. <laughs>